Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. Today I am going to talk to you about a tool that I came across called the Scorch Marker Pro. It is amazing, especially if you have been interested in wood burning, but have been a little afraid of the heat from the tools. I actually made this project at the end, but I'm going to talk to you about the marker first. So let's get started. I saw these videos going around on a bunch of different artists feed and they were talking about this Scorch Marker Pro. They showed how it worked and it seemed like it was way too good to be true so I wanted to buy one and find out for myself. And spoiler alert, I absolutely love it. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it um, and walk you through how to use it properly. There are two sides to it. One side is the marker itself and the other side is like this little spongy thing, like the total old school white out uh, containers. And so you would just be able to like blob it on that way. Um, you can use it either way. I just used the marker and it was really easy. You just have to prime it first, which it took like a dozen pumps to get it to prime down to the tip. But after that, it was super easy. And just every time I felt like it was a little dry, I would just pump it up a little bit uh, once or twice more and bring some more fluid down to the tip. Now, I will show you a project that I did at the end, but this is the first time I am giving it a try. And I just wanted to see what would happen when I did kind of like my little logo on the back here as my signature. So that way it wasn't just a sticker that I was putting on the back and someone could remove. So that is why I got this to try out and it worked awesomely. Now I first tried with the um, just super cheap heat gun that I had. And so after I drew on my logo, I used the like $12 heat gun and kept trying and trying and trying <laughs> and it wasn't doing the same thing that I saw on all these other videos. Um, and if you notice, I like even hover right on top of the wood with this heat gun and it's just not doing anything. Luckily I had a good heat gun, so I went ahead and grabbed my um, good heat gun after I tried to do a second layer and see if maybe I just didn't have enough liquid or something. Um, that wasn't the case. So you should not need to do a second layer. It's probably just the heat gun. And so I switched to my better heat gun and now you guys can watch the magic. Look at this. Look at that. You can tell it is burnt into it and it worked out perfectly and I didn't have to burn my fingers trying to work with a wood burning tool. So now I'm just going to show you how this works on um, just anything else. I mean you can use this for so many different things. If you have a stencil you could put a stencil down and use the sponge part to fill in the um, empty space or for this I drew a rhino on a piece of wood and now I'm just going to trace all my pencil markings with this and then when I'm done doing all of my tracing my pencil marks that I drew um, then I'm just gonna use my heat gun and watch the magic happen with this other heat gun I did hold it a little too close and you'll notice that in a couple spots it um, kind of burnt on the outside of the lines and that's just because I was actually burning my wood um, with the heat gun so you do want to be careful 
even when you are using this marker, you're still working with something hot to activate it and you do want to be very careful. So I'll let you guys watch my project. That's it. Isn't this seriously one of the coolest art things to add to your repertoire? I think it is. I added it on my Amazon list because you can get it from Amazon. Um, so that is in the description below. Let me know what you guys thought of this. I think it's like mind blowing and amazing that we can do this now and just, oh, man, the things that people invent. I'm so impressed with people sometimes. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know what you thought of this project and the marker in the comments below. If you've tried it out before, let me know what you did. I would love to have more project ideas since this is a brand new tool for me and I have not really used it. So that's it. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll catch you guys with the next video.